Manuel Gonzalez shares the power of words. Making music. How do poems honor? See, when you sit down and you decide to write something sincere and authentic, something real, something that describes your most deepest and personal thoughts, when you sit there and you try to be true and honest with your pencil and your paper, what you create honors the subject that you're talking about. And it's because of that honesty that you're putting into the words that you're creating that inherently makes it honor those things because you're being real with your thoughts and being honest with your feelings. And it's those emotions that come out as being authentic in that way. What makes words powerful? They're signs and symbols. They are symbols for the things that, that, that we're speaking of. And so we're using these symbols as, as representations of, for emotions and life and our interpretations. And so those symbols become powerful because we give them power because they represent these things that are precious to us. What inspired you to write Mi Vida Loca? Well, it kind of started with, I was thinking about Johnny Tapia's tattoos and how kind of mi vida loca is a good way to describe life in general and especially specifically to Albuquerque in that way because it's, it's that phrase is connected to us thanks to Johnny Tapia. And that's kind of where it started and it evolved from that point. When I write, I try to use images from my life, my culture, New Mexico and Albuquerque specifically, even closer than that, sometimes just Barelas and my grandma's house. But by speaking of the things that I know that aren't necessarily represented in the greater culture of the United States, the, these, these little gems that only we know here as being burqueños, the things that only happen to us that we know, I try to write that into my poetry. It's almost like I'm telling secrets. I'm, I'm letting the greater world know how magical and amazing my home is. And so when when I honor home with a poem in that way, I'm using images from my life, images that I feel are authentic and real, images that, that are close to my family and, and, and the things that I want to pass on to my children and leave as a legacy for those that come after me like that. The title of this poem is Mi Vida Loca. Mi Vida Loca, my crazy life, full of magic and mystery, this life we lead, this road we walk, our shoes are ragged and worn, but still we dance. We dance to celebrate life, la vida. We dance our prayers into the soil, Mother Earth, Madre Tierra. As tears trickle down our cheeks, we dance our sorrow into the soil. Con palmas and gusto, our grito can be heard. Crying out our pain until it turns to laughter. After that, we laugh at our own mortality. Muerte and marigolds litter the streets of the South Valley. As we build altars to honor our ancestors who are with us here in spirit. Finding silence in secret, sacred spaces, places where the river tells her tales and the cotton floats in the air like forgotten dreams, reminding us of our magic here in the moment, forever now. The river sings and her melody is mesmerizing, making music that was composed at the beginning of time, at the magic hour, where the light is blue, where we are one on moving. This line of locotes, where we all bleed red and we all shed tears in secret. Together, we cry alone sharing the shame of our tears and hiding our vulnerabilities by avoiding eye contact because our eyes have big mouths and they'll snitch on you for the price of a glance. Don't give them a chance. Don't get dizzy because spinning is part of the dance. Like a Sufi, our spirals spin inward. And our, our suffering is a sacrifice, like, like the scars on a sun dancer's chest. But we don't speak of the things that we take seriously and hold sacred. 
like santuari or sand. And a sacred sage smudge stick sitting on an altar next to pictures of people in need of prayer. Metaki oasin, all our relations. With gratitude, we give thanks for this life, this vida, this, this brief moment where our little light shines for less than the blink of an eye. In this moment in time, we awoken to find laganas in our eyes, reminding us to bring back the signs and symbols from our dreams, the flowers and song, flor y canto, in shoshi in siwa, with inspiration and determination, cosmology, sacred geometry, numerology, astronomy, mastering our memories, remembering our hope for the future, our grandchildren's songs that we're learning to hum today. Today, today we inherit the legacy of opportunity. Every morning the sun rises and we get another opportunity, another chance to feel this rhythm, to dance this dance, this vida, this life, this awkward waltz with our shadows, this beautiful ballet of balance where we keep the ballerinas on their toes in this intense tango of terror and delight, two-stepping with La Muerte to the last song at the end of the night before the early bird begins to sing and the earth is washed in that blue light before dawn, the delicate light of an infant day where we get another opportunity, another moment to shine, another chance to dance. When I first started writing, I was a young man having a hard time dealing with life, society, and the world, and my own specific life. And it wasn't until I sat down and started writing out my problems that I began to heal myself from those bruises and scars that were on my heart. As I got older, I started to find that sharing that art form with other people and showing them that they can heal themselves in that way has been a beautiful calling for me. We all have stories to tell and everybody's story is unique and beautiful and it's that telling of the story that not only can heal us, it can heal those that are listening to us in that way. So sharing of the story is an important part of it.